Well, here we are speaking of horses again, and uh, we're here at the Horse World Expo. We are in Baltimore, Maryland, and my guest is Heidi McLaughlin. Now, Heidi, um, well, first of all, you're on a stool, I'm in a chair. We'll explain that, okay? I'm not but, this tall. But um, you, you had a, a horse fear yourself you were dealing with, and uh, you wound up writing a book about it. Tell us a little bit about the book and, and what inspired you to do it. Um, I'm a former fearful writer. I wrote a book called Kick Your Fear of Horses, and I wrote it as a result of being so fearful and not being able to find a resource or a guide out there that could help me with the fear. So um, when I realized that it was possible to get over your fear and I had a method, I decided I needed to share this with other people. And so that's what I do. I, in the book, I not only tell my own story, but I tell the story of three women that I followed for a year using my method. And I also got the advice of some very, very great experts, such as Chris Cox, uh, Stacey Westfall, Richard Winters, Mike Kevill, just to name a few, that were willing to also share their methods and what they would do and what advice they would give to somebody who had fear issues. So you, you took your fear issue, you went to different clinicians, you got the interviews with them, and now you've compiled it in a book, right? Absolutely, and so it's not just what worked for me because that was that was initially what I wanted to do was show people how I did it and what worked for me. I, I went a step further and I actually asked all these great experts that we do have a lot of respect for in the horse industry what advice they would give too. So all of those experts do give advice to fearful riders, some of them, even Stacy Westfall, she spoke about her own fear. She had an, actually had an issue and how she got over it and how it made her a better rider and a better teacher. Well, you know, I think everybody, when they start riding, there's a little fear creeps in, unless you start when you're five and you're fearless, well, right? I, I call that healthy fear. There's nothing wrong with healthy fear. Um, we'd be crazy if we were completely without any type of fear, but I don't call it as... What I call healthy fear is awareness. We're aware that things can go wrong, but what I teach is that you are prepared. You are prepared for what could go wrong, so therefore you're not dreading it anymore. Well, and we want the people to know, too, while, while we're talking about this, that, that you know this book had a lot of research in it. You did a lot of research to get there, and it brought you through your problems, and you want other people to know about that, right? The book was three years in the making. There was a lot of research involved. I did the first draft right away, and then when I realized I needed more meat, I decided to actually go further, and that's when I started seeking out the experts, and I followed three people that were willing to allow me to follow their progress. They had terrible fear issues, and um, so that's what I had done, and it was it, it made the book even better. It even made it more more meatier. So, how do you? You're based in uh, Southern California. Uh, how do people get a hold of you? Well, I have a website. It's fearlessrider.com. And um, I also do clinics in Temecula, California. I have a partner. She works with the horses, and I work with the people. I am not a horse trainer, and I let people know that. <laughs> I always tell people I fix, uh, I help horses with people problems. Um, we send our horses out for training all the time, but nobody fixes us. And that's what I specialize in. So I have a partner that helps out with the horse issues. We go, and we also will come to you. We'll, we'll ho you can host clinics, and we'll go all over. We know every Everybody can't come to Temecula, California, but I'm, I, I, you can buy my uh, book on my website, and I can come to you, or you can come to California, and I can help people get over their fear. Now, tell us very slowly, what is the website? www.fearlessrider.com. Okay, so you can get the book there. The name of the book? Kick Your Fear of Horses by Heidi McLaughlin. The foreword was written by Chris Cox. I know you've got a lot of great people involved in the thing. Kick your fear of riding. Well, it should, some people have said that should oh. be called that. Okay, give it to me again. Kick your fear of horses. Kick your fear of horses. And Heidi McLaughlin. And you can go to the website, fearlessrider.com, fearless and get the book. And, and uh, it's well worth the read. Thank you. Thank you, Wayne. I really appreciate it. It was, it was great fun being here in Maryland. And I'll tell you, stay tuned uh, to Speaking of Horses because over the next year, it looks like we're going to be doing updates periodically on Heidi and her projects and how this is going. So we'll see you with more here at Horse World Expo. Thanks, Heidi. Thank you, Wayne. It's a pleasure.